thought I'd take some readings of the table and um, sort of all the variables as opposed to individual surfaces like how flat is that um, and just measure right here in front of the blade just this the table right there and see what interference that the bearings have on on the flatness now I don't know how flat that has to be in this direction it does have to be flat in that direction uh, I suppose tilting the blade angle would cause problems if it was tipped that way but uh, that's a sheet of paper that's three thousandths of an inch thick okay so how uh, let's let's read that so that's uh, that is uh, that's half a thou and it's uh, so it's plus half a thou minus three thou if you can make that out okay so I'm gonna set the table or set the the dial right there and we can see that it's on zero so this table is lower by a sheet of paper at the cutting apex now let's see what the bearing travel on the saw as for influence, I'll try to tape that still and see if I can see that. I'm not sure I'm going to focus this. Uh... Okay. So that, that marking, that first marking there, if you can't see it, is 5. And it's divided into 10 points. So those are half thou marks. Okay. Um, in fact, I'm not sure they might. Yeah, I think they're half thou marks. Goes to 25 and then comes back, so that's 50, right? So those are half thou marks. Okay. So at the beginning with the table, there it is unlocked. I roll along, you know. And as soon as I drop off of the, these first set of bearings, right there, there it is. That's me. That's me dropping off those bearings. So there's four, possibly five thou there. Okay. There's zero. Four. Four thou. Five. But it's coming back. You know, four, and there's five. And we're back to at the end where we're three thou. Okay, but that's mostly bearings. Okay, uh, as soon as I hit that bearing here, she right there. That's where she's. Soon as I, soon as I engage that bearing, so I think the table is just falling off the bearings and doing that within my bearings okay so now I'll draw it back okay and we're at four and a half right four and a half and then it comes back again to two Oh, it's a little plus this end, but I imagine. Okay, so that that's the table. Okay, 
I don't know if you can get better. Maybe you can if you chase a ghost. Okay, but I'll show you how sensitive the bearings are. If I just take my finger and push that, it moves that much. Second most important thing, if you ask me, is how well the bearings uh, roll with just, you know, instead of setting the table, just how well, how well does the bearings roll? And certainly that has something to do with things. Imagine if you tried to get it any other way, um, right? It could be very difficult to roll the table. So I've opted to make the motion very smooth and uh, within a sheet of paper. And I haven't flattened or done anything to the tops. Um, although I do have bearing separation, unlike the PP, which is continuous, and it may be able to come closer. But one wonders if you get too close, if sawdust gets in there, what's going to happen? Anyway, I thought I would show the saw I've got set up with no adjustments other than factory.